Okay, welcome back. It's Marine Tech Mike and Mike again. Mike and Mike in the morning. That's right. We are headed out to look at a potential awesome project number four. Another free boat. What do you think, Mike? Should we uh, go? I think we should. I think it's going to be worth uh, checking this one out. Let's stop right there. We're going to do this video in backwards order. Spoiler alert. Mike and I's trip worked out perfectly. This is our new boat. This is our new boat project, the Lady M. And so if you're wondering, well, there's a couple reasons why we got it and why somebody would just get donate a boat like this to the program. And it, it's a really cool story. So we'll talk about going and getting it and whatnot, but it does have a bad engine. Actually, the engine is on a pallet. It got salt water and ingested. Uh, I think it was poor design in the exhaust system, near as we can figure. Um, but everything else on the boat is, is in great shape. And so um, the coolest thing is this is full circle. Uh, the owner, um, Britton, he was the admin when this Marine Tech program was in Oak Harbor. And he hired Mike Schweitzer, my good friend, to, to build and grow the Marine program, which Mike did. And part of that was moving it to Anacortes when I came on board. And so now there we go. And so um, when this thing needed the engine to be replaced, they, he was just like, eh, it's time just to move on. And he's gonna get another smaller boat. He's had like seven boats, um, but that, that was the deal. And so it's just spectacular. He knows that we're gonna end up selling it. We've been looking for a inside passage economical cruiser as opposed to the sailboats that we did in the first three seasons and so it was just meant to be it just landed in our lap and we've got this boat now uh, what we're going to see if you want to follow along for season four is we have to figure out what happened to the engine how we're going to repower it um, we have to figure out uh, we're going to go through the whole boat i've already been in contact with um xylem we're going to replace pumps in the boat we're going to check everything we're going to use it for authentic learning protect the boat right from the beginning test all the systems and and stuff like that so uh, if you're following along and then of course in the spring we're going to auction it off it comes with a beautiful trailer and um, it's going to be a lot of fun it's going to be great project so sit back and rest of the video is just about us going down to to pick up the boat and a bunch of footage and great things but uh, stay tuned lots of exciting things always happen here at marine tech it's the first week of the quarter and so we've got all our new students here this week and so they're crawling on the boat and they're getting excited about being able to be part of this and and to, to breathe new life into this boat it's a uh, 2010 so it's only 13 years old had like 700 hours on it we've got full maintenance records the whole thing so as you can tell, we are very excited about this project. It's, uh, we're gonna travel all the way to Port Ludlow. That means we go over Deception Pass, take the Coopville Ferry to Port Townsend, and then it's about a half hour, I'd call it south, southeast of, uh, of Port Townsend where Port Ludlow is. So this will be interesting. That's right, we got the school's Dodge pickup truck, towing machine, we're coming prepared. We're hopefully bringing it back to Marine Tech. So let's go on an adventure. Well, here we are, that's the Coopville Port Townsend Ferry, so you get here early, go walk on the beach and wait. And that was the, the theme of the whole day. It wasn't too far mileage wise uh, to get over there, but it uh, it definitely took a long time with all the, the waiting in line for ferries and things like that. But nice place to camp right there on the beach. 45 minutes past that flat water would be in Port Townsend. Welcome to the Scallywags, located in the beautiful Pacific Northwest, where Skagit Valley College has been training technicians since 1968. If you are looking for industry certification and the skills to work in maritime, this is the place to visit. Our staff will share so much knowledge and experience, you will not be disappointed. The workforce demand is very high and all of our graduates are working around the world. If this sounds interesting to you, schedule a tour and come check us out. There we go, getting on that, that ferry um, with the other campers and stuff. We um, just had the truck on the way over, so that was easier. 
The return ride home was a little more expensive though with the boat and trailer. It was like a hundred bucks. I don't know what those big 18 wheelers pay. Gotta be expensive. But the weather was perfect. It was flat. This is uh, coming up on Port Townsend. So the ferry was on time, which was awesome. Um, we've had crew shortage issues. So sometimes they have to cancel boats and they do have a lot of fog over here. And so you never really know when you're relying on a ferry but uh, the, the key is just to be flexible. And so um, we always get over to Port Townsend. We do a field trip every year. And uh, with the scallywags, I'll come over here for the boat yard and to take tours and stuff like that. So it was turning out to be a perfect day. We we're gonna find some lunch over here. We're starting to get hungry. <laughs> well, Mike, what do you think? Here we are. Here we this are. This is our next project. I think it's a good project. Boy, if you can really take a look at this and see how well it's been kept, uh, we just need to get in there and straighten systems out, put a new engine in it, and it's good to go. Good to go. You're going to be volunteering and helping, right? I will help, right. And my good friend Britton, Britton Sprague, he is the donator uh, who has graciously uh, donated this Ranger tug uh, to the Marine Technology Program in Anacortes. How did, how did it come you. full circle? How did you get involved? I, uh, I love your story. Well, M Mike and I go back 30 years, and I, I was involved in hiring Mike to run the Marine Technology Program at that time, which was in Oak Harbor. And actually, before I finished my time at Skagit Valley College, I also donated a sailboat, a San Juan 24, to the program. And what I remember most about it is when Mike pulled it out of the water, he said it had more barnacles on it than the, the bottom of something else. But uh, Well, I think you did good hiring, Mike. That's, that's important. Good work there. We really appreciate that guy. This boat is a 2010 Ranger 25, and uh, we've cruised this boat from the San Juans to Olympia, and uh, she needs a new engine, and uh, I think uh, along with the system, other systems work that you'll be doing, I think it'll be a great training device for the Skagit students. Yes, I think so, and our high school program, all of them. We get them all on the boat, so. Great. Excellent. So it's headed for Anacortes. Full circle, back to Marine Tech. So yep. Appreciate it. You, you're, you're excellent. I know you're an educator for a lot of years, and so we it's appreciate life. it. It's whole life, yeah. Yeah. That's only, what we do. Yeah, only 46 years. So. But actually, Britton, he's, he's been a, he, he'd been on the water, though, too. And, uh, ran a river patrol boat in Vietnam. So he knows he knows how to keep them moving. Keep them moving. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, and you're going to come up and tour the facility and have lunch in Anacortes. So you'll get to see some of the work being done, and you'll get to I look forward follow. to that. Excellent. I look forward to that. Well, thank you, sir. It's wonderful. One nice thing was... Um, they had told the yard we were coming to get the boat, so they had already moved it out onto the street right there for parking. They had the engines all ready to go uh, with the forklift, and we didn't even know what engine it was. They knew it was a Yanmar that is all wrapped up in plastic, which is nice. That's why we brought the flatbed um, from the school. We also have a couple of other trucks, but this one works perfect for, for hauling these pallets and stuff. So professional crew. Super nice people. They just got those pallets loaded up, and um, just like that, we were we were headed off to to find some lunch and to go visit uh, and talk about the new boat. Well, we gotta wait for the ferry. So, a little detour over here in Port Townsend. Um, gonna go uh, kick some boat stands at the yard and things like that. And the, the new Ranger tug is, is right back there in the boat parking. Yeah, we'll go up here and take a look at the tally ho. Well, if you haven't seen any of Leo, the boat builder, um, 
stuff on YouTube, check it out, the Tally Ho. He's been rebuilding that boat um, from the ground up. And uh, just last weekend, they had 2,500 people during the Wooden Boat Festival that toured that, that new build. So it's a great story. A little veteran, that's an Anacortes boat, or it was. Very traditional. Always so much cool stuff happening here. There's Port Townsend. Uh, nice yard. You can still do some DIY stuff, fix your own boat. They have a big co-op. There's always people working. There's so many unique boats. And they got coffee shops, the Blue Moose restaurant right here in the boat yard. That's where the, the Shipwrights Co-op is, which is another great story. Uh, we always tour. We got former students working over here in the yard. They got the brewery up there by the, the traffic light and just kicking boat stands and cruising around it's always super fun when you're in port townsend so marine thrift shop we the works and we had better than an better than an hour and a half or so to kill before the the ferry where we had our reservations they're known for wooden boats this is red jacket it was tied up in the outside pier by my own personal boat this winter and a boat came loose and knocked the boomkin off so it's over there just getting a little bit of repair work and you know just all sorts of unique stuff to see and do especially on a day like today it was so sunny and bright and they got their big travel lift so lots of boats commercial and recreational alike um, you get to you get to see it all they got rigging shops they got you know everything everything a, a boater could dream of over there on on the peninsula and this is really cool. You can hear the steam box running in the background. They are replanking a good chunk of that uh, classic yacht right there. And this is what Nor Port Townsend was known for back 60s and 70s was for wooden boat construction. And they, they still do a lot of it over here. And um, they've done uh, other friends of mine's boats and stuff like that. And so. It's and it's great. You can just go over and watch these things being restored. And my friend Clifton says, you know, wooden boats are infinitely rebuildable. There's a diesel duck, George Bueller design. He lived on Whidbey Island. Um, I'm kind of a fan of those boats. And then the last thing to do um, was to, we had unhooked the boat the night before when we got in late. So the next morning we 
took and unloaded the pallets, got the engine out of the way, and used the forklift, hooked onto the boat, and brought it around um, to get it uh, underneath cover. Our long-term plan is to bring it right inside, maybe put it on a cradle or something, but um, that way, because we're going to work on it right through the, the winter with the repower, and so I think it'll be good to, to have it sitting inside. And, uh, so that's our story. Stay tuned, and we'll, uh, we'll do the, the first look and a, a full-on tour of the boat. But thanks for watching.